Hi my artsy folks, this is Elena and today's video is on various doctoral programs in the arts. There are actually quite many and I have decided to shed some light on different types of doctoral programs around the world where it's possible to conduct the research in English. Let's go! A small disclaimer, I'm not talking about cases honoris causa when somebody receives a doctoral degree just because of their achievements. I'm talking about structured programs at universities and conservatories. So, the first one, the most popular one in all the other fields is the PhD or Doctor of Philosophy. This is a typical degree for music history, music theory, musicology, art history. So, these fields that are not directly connected to artistic practice, but they are more about research around the arts and these degrees are usually acquired by the people who don't practice their type of art directly however they mostly study things that concern their art of course there are exceptions but i'm discussing how this is generally done the next one is a dma this is a doctoral of musical arts program it is offered by various universities and conservatories throughout the United States, in Australia, in New Zealand, and in Canada, precisely UBC Vancouver and Toronto. This info is from Wikipedia. The DMA combines advanced studies in an applied area of specialization, usually music performance, music composition or conducting, with a graduate level academic study in subjects such as music history, music theory, or music pedagogy. The DMA degree usually takes about three to four years of full-time study to complete, in addition to the master's and bachelor's degrees, preparing students to be professional performers, conductors, and composers. As a terminal degree, the DMA qualifies its recipient to work in university, college, and conservatory teaching research positions. Students seeking doctoral training in musicology or music theory typically enter a PhD program rather than a DMA program. And this degree is also abbreviated as DMUSA or AMUSD. The next one is a Doctor of Music degree, which is usually DMUSE or DOCMUSE. It can be also abbreviated as MUSED and occasionally MUSEDOC. This is a higher doctorate awarded on the basis of a substantial portfolio of compositions and or scholarly publications on music. Like other higher doctorates, it's granted by universities in the United Kingdom, Ireland and some Commonwealth countries. So precisely, Canada McGill and a DMUS is also offered in Helsinki in Finland. This degree should not be confused with the Doctor of Musical Arts degree, the DMA, that we just discussed before, which is a standard PhD level doctorate in fields such as performing, conducting and musical composition. However, I found some interesting info that at least one graduate program at Indiana University has been issuing a DMUSE degree since 1953 for a curriculum that would otherwise lead to the DMA degree. And once again, the DMUSE is also distinct from the regular, let's say regular, PhD in musicology, music history, music theory, arts history and such, because Doctor of Music is a practice-based degree. The next one is a Doctor of the Arts. So this is a DA, occasionally D Arts or Art D from the Latin Artium Doctor. This is a discipline-based terminal doctoral degree that was originally conceived and designed to be an alternative to the traditional research-based Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, and the education-based Doctor of Education, EDD. Like other doctorates, the DA is an academic degree of the highest level. The DA is also frequently conferred as an honorary degree with the added designation of honoris causa. While the PhD is the most common doctoral degree in the United States, the US Department of Education and the National Science Foundation recognize numerous research-oriented doctoral degrees such as the DA as equivalent and do not discriminate between them. So, in the States, the PhD 
and the Doctor of Arts are pretty much equal. Now let's move on to less conventional doctoral degrees. This is where the interesting stuff starts. I'm talking precisely about the Doctor Arts in program. That is very new. Most of the schools offer it with an option to conduct research in English. However, it is offered in Central and Northern Europe where it's also possible to conduct research in the language of a corresponding country. So, a bit more on this degree. So, it is currently offered at MDW Vienna, at Kunstuni Graz in Austria, and at the University of Arts in Zurich. However, it is a collaboration with Graz because in order to defend your dissertation and receive your degree, you must defend in Austria, you cannot defend in Switzerland. Let me read you a bit of the description from the MDW website as well as from the Kunstuni Graz website. So, the Doctor Artium program is extremely interdisciplinary and it is dedicated to innovative artistic work. It leads to the production of new knowledge and serves as an independent contribution towards the development and opening up of the arts. It assumes a diversity of forms of knowledge and understanding. The program enables its graduates to generate independent artistic research work which corresponds to international standards. The term artistic research subsumes a range of artistic practices driven by a systematic epistemic interest. Within the Doctor Artium degree program, such activity always involves an intertwined systematic combination of artistic experimentation and scholarly scientific reflection and methods, combining, for example, improvisation with philosophical aesthetics or interpretation with historical musicology, organology, performance studies or acoustics or composition with robotics and AI, cognitive sciences or media studies. This combination is the particular strength of our local understanding of artistic research. It goes beyond practice as research and hence beyond a practice-based PhD in intertwining the latter with arts-based research in the form of applied phenomenology, applied musicology, practical or empirical aesthetics, performance research, sociology, and other academic research approaches. Artistic research as done at the Doctoral School of Artistic Research thus combines research for art, research about art, and research through art. For more on the three types of artistic research, please check out the last video. In this way, it can lead to discoveries and a deepening and extension of our intersubjective understanding, knowledge, and skills that may otherwise be unattainable. Outcomes of excellent artistic research at the doctoral level within the Doctor Artium program fulfill the ambition of being important original contributions with relevance to both artistic practice and scholarship. So, in short, the Doctor Artium program is something roughly between the DMA and PhD because it is practice based, however, it is quite scientific, I must say, talking from experience. So similar degrees are also offered at Stockholm. They have a Doctor of Philosophy in Fine Arts in Performative and Media Practices. In Copenhagen, they offer a PhD in Arts and Cultural Studies, which includes studies in musicology, literature, art history, visual culture, modern culture, theater and performance studies. Many of the projects also contain a practical dimension, including artistic practice, curatorial practice, and practice in civil society. There are several umbrella programs that unite a few doctoral programs either in the same country or between two neighboring countries. Examples of these are the NARB, the Norwegian Artistic Research Program. There are several universities that offer doctoral degrees in artistic research and they are all united by the NARP program. Check out the websites that I'm providing in the description box. A small note that at the Norwegian Academy of Music there is no written dissertation requirement. If you are interested in something like that, you may as well check it out. 
Also, the NARP includes Bergen and the Arctic University of Norway. Another umbrella program is between the Netherlands and Belgium. It actually includes a bunch of universities, such as the Royal Conservatoire in The Hague, together with Leiden University, Orpheus Institute in Ghent, Conservatory Amsterdam, and several other schools. This is called the Academy of Creative and Performing Arts, and they're offering a doctoral program for performers and composers under the name of Doc Artis. Other cases of artistic doctorates that kind of don't fit into any category that I have just described are offered at the Hochschule für Musik Freiburg in Germany. They offer a doctor fill of both types, the scientific and the artistic scientific, as they call it. The University of Ottawa in Canada offers a PhD in interdisciplinary research in music. If you're from dance and drama directions, look for artist-based PhDs, because I think that mostly what you guys get is a PhD. Musicians have more of a variety, I don't know why, but for some reason it has been shaped this way and we have a bunch of names of the programs, which actually took me a while to figure out what's the difference between these and I can sum it up that this difference has quite a lot to do with geography, first of all, and then the specifics, because a lot of programs in the same region are named in the same way and programs that are geographically further from each other might offer very similar curriculum and have similar requirements, but they might have different titles. So don't get confused by that. If you're looking to apply for a doctoral degree, do your research and read carefully what is expected of you in order to apply and in order to defend. Good luck with your applications if you are considering to become a doctor in the arts, in any kind of the art. If you have any questions for me and how my own experience went applying for a doctoral degree, please let me know in the comments and I will make another video just about that. I wish you to have an amazing week. Hit the like button if this was useful. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and I will see you next time. Bye.